week we're going to be working on Harry's uh, Catfish Camaro. We're going to be doing a twin turbo kit on this thing. Um, Harry just changed up the intercooler setup on it and did one of those sandwich intercooler deals. So we're going to have to redo the cold side. So instead of just doing that, this is our new dog, uh, Rush, by the way. We just got him for Christmas. Little pup inside dog. It's pretty sweet. But anyway, we're going to be working on Harry's car this week and uh, redo the hot side, redoing the cold side, try to do something cool with the turbo kit and the placement and all that good stuff. So this week, that's what it'll be about. As far as the Lexus, uh, not much to really film or do anything with right now. We haven't made much progress on it. Um, saving up for parts and in the next couple weeks, we're gonna get a rear end ordered for it uh, from Hammer or Tin Soldiers or something like that. And then uh, we're gonna get started on hanging the front struts and steering. Waiting on some wheels from Buck Performance, so once we get those, we'll kind of be able to set those wherever we need them. Uh, order some cups from Applied Racing and some of their stuff, and uh, just get started on that. So until we get those parts in, we're just kind of stuck with the Lexus, so we reached out to Harry and offered to build him a turbo kit. And I'm going to try to knock it out in about a week. He comes in on the 17th, which is a week from today, so we're going to try and get it done for when he gets home to where he can make some progress and get that thing done and tested. Um, I know he signed up for Texas 2K this year, so we will try to knock this out as quick as possible. I'm gonna do as much filming as I can and show you guys the ins and outs of how we build a turbo kit and stuff like that, so yeah. Today we are kind of figuring up where we're going to mount these turbos on Harry's catfish. So we cut out these two pipes and bent them up and kind of, you know, made sure they match and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do now is find where we're going to place them on the frame rails and figure out exactly what angle we want and height. Um, I think we're pretty close right here. I kind of mocked it up slowly, but I think what I'm going to do is grab a strap and get my uh engine lift over here and get this thing right where i want it that way i can tack everything in place pull it off weld it out and then get it back in the car so yeah it's kind of where we're at. so we got the turbos where they're going to be we did some maven mounts or a maven style mount and uh See better on this side. Got them welded in to the chromoly front end and then added some welds on here. Not the best welds in the world, but I'm not the best welder in the world. But I think everything is really solid, everything's square. Uh, it looks a little weird just because of the housings uh, or flip flop, but I think it's pretty damn good. Gonna start working on mounting the radiator now. I'm just gonna weld some tabs on those front bars and then on the side, and then probably weld some tabs on each side of the radiator to bolt that way. But I think I can use like the factory mounting points here, which will get it good. So I'm gonna get working on that. I had to cut out the old stuff for the old intercooler. Um, Harry did this intercooler here, so we don't need any of these tabs anymore in the way. So we're gonna knock that out and then get this positioned how we want. I might do it at like a slight angle just to get some airflow in there and a little more clearance for the fans, but I think this is gonna work out pretty nice. the front part of the radiator uh, mounted so I use some of these tabs um, I like these things I buy a lot of them use them for anything I can they have like a nice little shoulder on them so you can get a good little weld around a round pipe around a round pipe and um, so we got the front done I can kind of show you here and here and then we'll run a spacer uh, between here and here to 
hold it in place and then on the back side um, I'm gonna go ahead and weld some of these tabs this way and then one on the other side and then what I'm gonna do is build a bracket that bolts to that and then bolts to the uh, the framework of the radiator so that we don't have to like really weld on the radiator at all um, we will be cutting the uh, the filler neck off because you're not going to really be able to fill it the way it is now. But we're going to do AN lines on everything, and then we're going they have like adapters that you can put an inline fill. Um, so that's something we'll do there. It's a little cleaner, or we can cut and weld a fill on the top of it on one of the sides. But as far as now, the front of the radiator is tacked up and welded out. I'm going to go ahead and add these two braces, and then probably build something across to hold it in place. That way, when we start building the turbo kit, we know it's not too close to the radiator. We can keep all that stuff away from each other and keep moving on this thing. So we got our two tabs welded there and uh, I need to finish welding them out whenever I can get to a better area and get a cleaner, better looking weld. But what I'm going to do now is build a cross brace for that, uh, angle it down to where it meets flush with the radiator, then up and back over for this side. And then the radiator will be mounted. I'll make sure that it's really sturdy. Uh, may add one or two more mounts just to make sure that this thing doesn't go anywhere. But I don't think that it will. I'm pretty confident it's good. It's not the lowest point of the front end. so. Um, it is higher than everything else. The subframe and stuff clears it. So we're not worried about it hitting the ground or anything like that. So I think that's about it for this video. I'm going to have this mounted and then start on the pipes from our manifolds going to the turbos and then exhaust, cold side, and wastegates placement. So yeah, check us out on the next video.